a candle loses nothing by lighting other candle share your knowledge the network programmability often mention automation and orchestration automation accomplish repeatable task without any human intervention orchestration combining a series of tasks to accomplish a process or a flow hello friends my name is sabi in today's video we'll discuss about the need for python which is just another tool in your toolbox python was developed by guido van rossum and released in 1991 with the philosophy that code should be fun and easy to write and read whenever you write your code always keep in mind that the simpler and the more readable you make your code the less chance you have of making a mistake and it will help people that to read understand what you are trying to achieve so python is a modern language that brings coding into the range of being useful to the network engineers it makes easy to build simple scripts to automate daily network tasks but it is powerful enough to handle big data and perform complex calculations according to ieee spectrum ranking python was the number one programming language in 2018 remember that python is just another tool like ansible puppet jenkins or git that you use to help in your network automation while it's not the only tool it is a very powerful and easy language to learn let's take a deeper look at what python the perfect language to learn python is an interpreted language or a compiled language one question about python is whether it is a interpreted language or a compiled language most books will tell you that it's a interpreted and from a high level that's all you need to know but that is only the half true it is compiled but not the same way as language like c c++ the compilation is the process of taking your code and translating to the machine instruction that the cpu can execute for language like c c++ compiling generates an executable that runs steps in your code whenever you run python code it is not translated to machine instruction that are run on the cpu instead it is translated to the byte code that is run on your virtual machine byte code is a low level set of instruction that an interpreter can execute running the byte code on virtual machine allow python to be a platform dependent first it is an interpretive language interpretive means that the code executes line by line making it easier to test debug because you don't have to compile the code in terms of platform compatible python is flexible python scripts can run on your computer like windows linux mac os on a server in a vm in a container in the cloud and on cisco ios devices even with other vendor devices you can use python to create scripts that can run various places to fit the need of your use case python is a object oriented language object oriented is a program structuring method that bundles related properties and behavior into the individual object the best way to understand how this works is to think like a real world item such as dog a dog has some properties such as name breed and color and behavior such as barking fetching and wagging its tail defining objects in programming has the advantage of making the program easier to maintain and improve software development productivity python is developed under osi approved open source license the licensing makes it freely usable and distributed for commercial use making it popular with developers you can also download the source code to inspect and modify and enhance it there are currently two version of python version 2.0 was introduced in 2000 with version 2.7 released in 2010 version 3.0 was released in 2008 rectifying fundamental design flaws in version 2.0 while many things stayed the same between the two versions some changes such as improved integer division and better support for unicode so version 2.7 went end of life in 2020 but some applications still use it today the current version is version 3.x python language is a rich and a diverse developer ecosystem 
which allows you to avoid starting from scratch. A great place to get information that describe Python new features and its process is at the Python Enhancement Proposal which is PEP. So the PEP page located on the python.org site. So PEP is nothing but compared to an RFC. PEP is a design document providing information to the Python community. Two of the more well-known PEP are PEP8 and PEP20. PEP8 is used for style guide for Python codes, which gives you best practice for writing Python. PEP20 is considered the Zen of Python, design document of the Python community that is similar to IEEE RFC. So this is all about the brief discussion of Python. So there are four different ways to run Python code. Interactive shell, terminal, ID editor, or you can say that file manager of your system. The Python interactive shell allows you to execute command line by line. Terminal, the Windows and the Linux terminal can execute Python code. IDE or editor, the integration execution in your IDE or editor such as VS Code can execute scripts. File manager of your system, the system file manager allows you to execute a script by double clicking on the script icon. This method is not typically used during the development but it may be used when scripts is released to the production. Python is an interpreted language which means it can execute code line by line. Executing code line by line is useful for learning Python and testing code concept without having to compile or run a file. When using the interpreter, the commands that are executed and results are displayed in the Python cell, the shell is also known as REPL. The R stands for read, read user input. E stands for evaluate, evaluate the code. P as in print, which prints the output to the user. L as in loops, so it will loop back to the step read. So this represents the process that the interpreter uses. The REPL process involves the following steps. Once you enter the interactive shell, you are presented with a three chevrons which means that the shell is waiting for instruction. When you type a command and press enter, the computer will evaluate the command. If there is anything to display to the user, the computer will show it on the screen. Since the computer execute code line by line, this is a great place to work out problems and explore ideas of your application. From the shell, basically you'll see that the Python version so once you type Python, the command will open Python shell and present you the three chevrons. Print hello world statement entered and evaluated and results will be displayed on the screen. Hence you notice, here you notice that few variables and the print statements are were entered. When the print statement executes, it gives us an error. Look at the error. You can see that this is a syntax error because the parenthesis was left off the Python shell allow you to do more than simple programming. Once you are finished and wants to exit from the Python shell, use the command exit with the parenthesis. The Python shell looks all your commands to a .python underscore history file that you can open in a text editor and then see what all script or what all commands that you run. So the Python interpreter is read evaluate print loop program, also known as language shell. The Python interpreter is similar to a CLI that you would find on a workstation command line terminal or like router console. It takes a command, evaluates and then process the command. If the command generates output, then the output is printed to the shell. The Python shell is convenient for testing codes to make sure it works as you expect before incorporating it into a script. In order to wrap up with this Python introduction video, we will discuss the two functions that can be used to find which methods are available for a data type. The first function is dir function. This is a built-in function that returns a list of attributes along with any available methods, the method descriptions and the syntaxes. The second function is the help function. The help function displays the documentation of data type functions class and so on. So there are two ways we can use help functions. Thank you for watching this video. 